With the constantly changing algorithm of Instagram, I can understand why it is so difficult to find your way to success on this platform. I myself don't even understand how this works. But one thing is for sure. Short form content is the best way to grow your audience or market your business on whatever platform. Think about Instagram stories, TikTok, YouTube shorts, and of course, Instagram reels. But there is one problem. You just shot all your cinematic sequences horizontal. What now? Of course, there are multiple solutions to this problem, but I will show you my way of making use of your horizontal clips and I will also give you a few tips on how to make the quality of your reels even better. Okay guys, first things first, uh, we open up Premiere Pro. So I recently shot this footage of my hiking trip. Uh, so I really wanted to edit that into a reel so I can post it on Instagram. So uh, first we're gonna click on new project. In the left corner you can enter the name of your project. Uh, then you can choose the project locations. There you go. And then you just click on create. And then in the left corner, you can click on import and you can import all the footage you need. What I like to do is to drag all my footage into the timeline. And from there, I will just scroll through and select the best clips from it and delete everything that isn't important for a video. Okay, as you can see, I stacked up a few clips uh, on top of each other on different tracks. So what I'm now going to do is change the sequence settings. So we're going to sequence, then to sequence settings. I changed the sequence settings to uh, 2160 by 1280. If you have a vertical frame and you divide them equally by 3, then you have 1280. So this makes it 2160 by 1280. So I scale them up a little bit so they fill the frame so we don't see the black bars anymore. Uh, I will do this for every, every video. All right, now what we'll do is go back to sequence settings and now change them back to 2160 by 3840. So what you'll see here with the three videos on top is that you have these black bars. So what we'll do now is just go to the video that is on top. So we'll change the position so it will fit the upper half of the vertical frame. Then the one that is on the bottom, we will change the position all the way down and now you can see that the vertical frame is perfectly divided by three shots and then i just did the same for the other shots i decided to alternate between one two or three shots stacked upon each other this gives some variety to the video now the only thing left to do is color braid and do some sound design then it's ready to export and upload on Instagram as an Instagram reel. So the video is ready. So now the only thing left to do is export. So we're going to file, export, media. I did some research and apparently the best codec to export for Instagram Reels is H.264. Then go into video and then make sure you change the width to 1080 by 1920. You're going to export in full HD. This I will do because 4K can be exported to my phone, apparently, for some reason. So if anyone knows how to fix this problem, let me know. Then I'll click on Render at Maximum Depth and use Maximum Render Quality. And then you can change the bitrate to whatever you like. I mostly set it around 25 so your file isn't that big. There you go. And then just click on Export. And now the only thing left to do is wait until the export is ready and then upload it to Instagram. Now one last bonus tip for you guys. If you want the best quality of your reels on Instagram, go to your profile into settings. 
and then to account and data usage and then turn on high quality uploads. And there you go. Now your reel is ready to go on Instagram. you learned something new today if you want more tutorials like this leave a comment down below make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my other videos and also go check out my previous videos on how i made thumbnails or a youtube banner thank you for watching and remember all great things come from small beginnings see ya